done a 2x2 two two comparison. We've done a Pyraminx comparison. Now, it's time for a 3x3 three three comparison. Let's get started. So to start off, we have the GAN 356M Lite and the Emo URS 3M 2020. So yeah, first let's take a look at piece design. Um, this cube, I did mod a little bit and I put maglev in four of six sides just because I had a Moyu RS Pyraminx and it, that one's maglev. So I took the maglev out of that and put it into the cube, into the three by three. So the piece design, we have the classic ridges on the RS3M 2020 and the flat surface on the other one um, and if you take the piece apart you can see the magnets in there um, in there so that's how the RS3M piece works you look at the 356M you have so the pieces are actually like locked in since the center piece of these is not just a leg, it's not just a foot, it's a, it's just a piece connected to a foot. So that's what these slits are, those are to hold in the colors. Um, and then this guy has the honeycomb design, which in previous videos I've mentioned that it uh, makes lube distribution easier and it reduces friction a little bit. So. Uh, yeah, that's what that does. So that's the comparison of edges. Let's compare corners now. So the corners are a little different, but not too different. Uh, so this one has the honeycomb design, and this one just has ridges. The GAN uh, has much shorter stems here as you can tell versus the height of the RS3M it's very different like super different uh, this is way longer and this is way shorter see that uh, the other thing that I forgot to mention with the edges the magnets are embedded in the edge in the RS3M and the magnets are visible uh, on the 356M so that's another difference um, the corners on the RS3M and the 356M are the same as the edges, the embedded in the RS3M and visible. So, those are the, the next thing I want to discuss is the cores of the cubes. So the, the 356M has a clear plastic core and as you can see black internals like just like the pieces. Um, center caps are, uh, they kind of have a, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's flat on the top and it's like a circle. Yeah, the white one, you can kind of see it. So there's like a shadow right there. It's kind of caved in and then there's just a circle. So, I can't really see it a little bit, not too much though. And then, um... In the RS3M core, you just have the pieces, uh, which are colored. Uh, I think there's a little bit of a difference in size also, which is interesting. That one's tight. This one's much looser. But the this core is much smaller than the GAN core and much heavier. Like I can tell, these are way different. So, yeah. So next I want to talk about adjustment systems. This one is kind of an interesting um, sort of topic. We're going to start with the RS3M. Uh, so, in here, yeah, there it is. Um, in, once you get, when you get a MoU cube, you get um, this, <laughs> you get this box, it says accessories box, I made this my all tools box, so I have 
my GAN 2x2 adjustment tool in here and all my MoU adjustment tools that I need, like the screwdriver, and this little blue guy. What this does is you align the blue ring, you align the notches on this guy. So as you can see, there's two, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's two of the um, pieces just like that. And you align the notches with the gaps and you twist. I'm not gonna do it right now because it's at a good setting, but you twist. And so, you also have a screwdriver. You also have a screw, which just uses a regular Phillips screwdriver, um, and it's quite a small, uh, quite a small screw. So you just have to have a small screwdriver. Which, if you buy the cube, it will come with that, um, and it'll have the Moyu logo on it. So that's the adjustment system on the RS3M. But Gan on the 356M. You have these GES um, nuts, and they align with the they align with this little piece in the center there. It kind of has a shape, um, and there's two settings on each nut. So this is 0 0.6 and 0 0.8 is the blue GES spring, and you can do it with your hands. So you just push down and twist and it, just like that it adjusts your cube it's actually a super easy adjustment system and is incredibly simple and you can do it on the go in an instant you do have to do it on all six sides though um next i want to talk about how they sound this one is more clacky and tactile this one is soft and more i don't know it feels softer. So I'm gonna do a uh, co sound comparison. Here's what they sound like. So you could probably tell the difference between the MoYu and the GAN. By the way, I did the GAN first, and then the MoYu. So this one definitely sounds more, definitely more tactile and clicky. This one's also more blocky. Um, definitely not as blocky as some of the other versions of this cube, but this one is not really blocky at all. The magnets are just so soft and just kind of bumps right over each turn it just feels super nice the feel of the cube what does the cube feel like um you know this one feels more tactile and the magnets are softer um but it is a great cube this one the magnets are stronger and it feels softer um the second thing is i've had this cube for over a year so the frosted plastic has rubbed off but initially, uh, right out of the box, the RS3M came with frosted plastic. Um, and the GAN 356M also is a frosted plastic cube. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of like shiny. And this one, it like glints off. It kind of might look the same on camera, but th it is, this one's frosted. And this one is no longer frosted it used to be frosted though so yeah next let's talk build of the cube on the rs3m you have the more rounded corners and it's a little bit smaller than the 356m see that the this one's a little taller however the gan the 356m is lighter about 10 grams lighter than the rs3m which I thought was interesting because this is a, this cube has stronger magnets and this one has weaker magnets. Um, 
so the GAN has sharper corners, which I don't mind. I actually think it makes it more snappy feeling and more like it has more substance to it. And this one has more rounded corners and that's most MoU cubes. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you don't know already, I main the GAN 356M. Um, and I used to main the RS3M because it was the only 3x3 that I had, but now that I have a second 3x3, I main the 356M. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Please hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.